Here's my dyno setup. Got the controller running into this one, which has a uh, smaller toothed pulley on it than the load motor over here. I have uh, some of the half the phases on the motor disconnected, and then uh, those red wires there are shorting the phases together to act as a load. Tried to reduce it a bit. Uh, didn't make much of a difference. I'm running into problems with my power supply not being able to hold the voltage up. Uh, tried adding on some additional capacitors that I was using when I was double pulse testing. Didn't really make any difference. Not a surprise. I'm going to have to swap over to batteries here. But what I'm going to do is run this at 180 amps phase and see how long it takes before it gets hot. I have the sensors. This is the onboard one for the VESC, which reads in over here. This one, this one here, and this one here run over to here for monitoring temperature of both the PCB. Top one is PCB, bottom one is the MOSFET. So I'm going to run this at 180 amps and probably running it up to 80 Celsius. I want the MOSFETs to start shutting down around 70 and then the final cutoff will be at 80. That's what I found in bench testing to work pretty well. Here's 180 amps. motors are not very happy. It's uh, pretty much a locked rotor scenario. It's not moving very far. the current at 180 amps. So that is sensorless field-oriented control into a nearly locked rotor. So the waveform is not going to be the prettiest because it can. It, there's a whole lot of cogging going on in the motor. But still pretty good. Doesn't lose rotor tracking. And that's 180 amps out of just a little prototype. You can see the uh, belt is moving very slightly down there, just not very smooth. So the PC board temperature is getting hot much faster than the MOSFET, and that's because this uh, PC board just isn't designed to handle this current level. So I'm going to have to back this off here really soon. MOSFETs have no problems, but the PC board's up to 80, and I got smoke coming out of it. I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a little bit of smoke coming off of the PCB. Probably the uh, blue tack I'm using. It looks like it's looks like it's melting. My wife is saying it's so smelly. Nah, it just smells hot. Doesn't really smell very bad. Well, got the PC board up to 80. We'll see how long that took. It seemed to take over 30 seconds. And that was wide open at 180 phase amps. The MOSFETs, these things, they only made it up to 50. You know, I could still put my fingers on it. Not bad. We got pretty close match temperatures there. 48 degrees and 50 degrees over here. I'm going to call that a success. I uh, just need to get higher current PCBs made with uh, more copper on them.